welcome to the show that gets up close and candid with all your favorite personalities. Here on the show, we give you, the viewer, an opportunity to ask some of the questions you've always wanted to. We also put them on the hot seat, uh, dispel some rumors, and as well, play some games that will keep you laughing. This is Hall of Fame right here on City TV. My name is AJ Akuako Sapon, and I am your host, speaking to some of the most amazing personalities in this entire country and beyond. Today, my guest is exciting. He's accomplished and he's a trendsetter. He's a multiple award-winning artist who has awards for days. And if we started to count, we probably might not finish the show or anytime soon. I'm going to be sitting down and speaking to him on a variety of issues and getting very candid with this amazing personality. Stay with us. This show gets very, very exciting for the next 60 minutes right here on Hall of Fame. Welcome to Hall of Fame. Now we get to see who we're having a conversation with on the couch this week. He is amazing. He is exciting. He's accomplished. He is, uh, should I say, the king of a particular place. But you know what? Let's take a look at who my guest is today. Hey, 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 yeah. Oh, what a life. Stone boy. Hey. After you make it, better watch who you keep around you. None of them are fake it. Tough time come, them no sticking with you. Don't come in there. Ladies and gentlemen, it's none other than Stone Boy. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty. So the one and only Stone Boy is in the couch today. How sweet, how are you? Fine. I'm really excited because I think this is the first time I'm having a proper conversation with you on camera, at least. Yeah. <laughs> that is going to be interesting to see. Uh, but I know he's one person that is going to meet me boot for boot with every question I'll pose. Thank you so much, uh, my darling. <laughs> And of course, we must say a very big thank you to Alisa Hotel for accommodating us so amazingly right here on the show. So that's where our set is and uh, going into the conversation. But I have to also say a big thank you to Arlu for my lovely outfit and first choice for my hair. You know, it takes a village to make me look this glam. But the man that is costing uh, a lot, like whenever you speak, everyone picks it. Whenever you sing... We all listen. Whenever mm -hmm. you release something, we're in a hurry to, mm -hmm. to, to get to know what is going on with the man, True. Stone Boy. But first off, I decided to give your fans an opportunity to ask you questions. So I asked them to you know what? Send me a voice note, a tweet, a video, if you want to, or, or what you want to ask Stone Boy. The one question that you wanted to ask him. And this is what they had to say. Let's take a look. Hey Stone Boy, my name is Akuja Santuan. I'm a very big fan of yours. Um, I'm very glad I have this opportunity to ask you this question. Some time back, I know that you were involved in an accident which caused the death of your brother and you developed a problem to your leg, one of your legs, yes. I want to find out, uh, with the fan base you have here in Ghana especially, and the impact you make on the society, have you thought of any campaign against road accident or anything of a sort? Because about three weeks ago, I was involved in an accident on the Temamoto where it took the grace of God, as you can see. So please tell us something. I believe that Ghanaians will listen to people like you who have influence on the society. <laughs> yeah, that's so really nice. uh, that's an interesting one. Uh, I know you also you really have nice. a foundation that you yes, actually do, do some sort. So yeah. tell us about that. Um, um, the foundation is is the Livingstone Foundation or the Livingston Foundation. The name is derived from my first name, which is Livingstone. Um, probably that's why I'm still alive and living <laughs> after <laughs> the accident, a fatal one as well. And to direct. To the um, to what Question, she asked, yeah. it was it happened on the same time. Akata Mamoto. Wow. So you know it's as if 
she she knows specific she had specifics of what it is maybe she read it somewhere but you know um we have to actually when i i had my accident i have i have i i mean i have evidences that still lingers on from the past okay. that actually would remind me of it until i'm dead and gone probably even after i'm dead and gone because i now have the i mean i mean the whole of my right leg is 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 is, is, is titanium wow. inside you know i mean so um literally I'm, I'm living with that now and from time to time i'd have to go and undergo surgeries wow. i know all due to the same road accident and we've lost lives actually via the same road accident and i'm grateful to be alive and i don't want to remind us of a, of any any bitter past but you know ebony as well one vibrant and young lady who took the whole africa by surprise with her beautiful songs and how unique she stood you know what i mean um we lost her through the same means and the other time Sarkozy also had a road accident yeah. and actually had to loud it up a little but um to an extent you know everything is literally politicized you know when it, it comes to persons like myself mm -hmm. you know what i mean but that that doesn't mean that we don't have to voice out you know we don't have to voice out to push the people in power to actually address these issues because right. I mean, I can, I can route it all the way back to Terry Bong. Yes, Same road accident. Absolutely. A lot of people, um, Susie Williams, road accidents. Not, not, and I mean, a lot of other prominent people outside the entertainment, you know. Circles, yeah. Circles, absolutely. you know what I mean? So we just have to fix that Tamakwa motorway. We all know how, we all know in what state it is. You know, we have to fix it. Because every time they take toll from the, the layman, the commoner, knows that they make a lot of money from the toll yeah. but where does the money go does the money go back into fixing the roads are there any i mean is there any percentage allocated to fix the roads fix the lights you know i think i think because there's a lot of it's, it's a different game when you go behind the scenes yeah. of what really happens and what we think should be done but eventually, I trust that whoever is an authority, the government or the political party in power or whatever would, is here to improve upon the standard of living of people. Absolutely. I mean, and Absolutely. via infrastructure and fixing all these things and making life easy, you know, not necessarily throwing money about. That doesn't, is not the case. But when you fix these roads and you put them into the best conditions it avoids traffic it avoids road it makes, accidents it makes our lives a it makes lot, our lives a lot yeah. more easier so i'm sincerely for that and i think that adding my voice now at this moment even adds up to the fact that we have to fix the roads because lives we're losing lives yeah, you know we have to fix, fix this the, 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 i mean i drive to there every time and i live in exactly you are, you are in so, Ashima, so yeah you see i'm it. too used to the motorway hmm. feel me <laughs> and I know where the potholes are. I can barely close my eye and go through one Service. end because I know Service. this. But we need to fix the lights, you know, open up the roads. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Because it, 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 that highway actually is, is, is a major one that leads all the way to low man stuff. True. Once you hit that road, you keep driving all the way up. And so we have to. How many surgeries have you had after? Um. Yeah. The same accident has had me do a lot of surgeries, like it was in stages and mm -hmm. the final one was what I did in 2016, February in Germany, you know what I mean, got the whole, you know, yeah. checking out and then, you know what I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Some things I, I'm sure it's are very not, difficult to, to, to go into. And, mm, you know, it's one of those, I have that part of me, like, I need mean, to hospital vibes. And, you know, You're used to it, so yeah. actually, after yeah, a while. A number of surgeries <laughs> there. It humbles you more and more, yet me. I'm sure. You, I'm you sure. know, you know, sure. when you know pain, you know. You know Chale, you it puts you in a different way, but let's go into another one. Uh, so another person sent in a video, uh, and this is what she had to say. If I'm to meet Stoneboy right now, I'd ask him why he doesn't give his fans more relevance. But then I've noticed on countless occasions when I've heard people saying that Stoneboy dear, oh, who the fans, nah, he, he doesn't even 
give them some relevancy doesn't say hi back and all yeah i saw that the, that some people have made certain utterances uh mm. let's clarify that because i know you are someone who absolutely loves your family mm. and i can personally attest to that yeah man you know that these things don't shake me at all you know because we are in a place where it's just like NBC and NPT. If, if 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 something is, I mean, for instance, it's it's too obvious when you're trying to hit back on somebody with a, an, an irrelevant point. If you know I mean. um, you know, but that's what it is. And you find out that people who accept these things, like I mean, for instance, are she had beloved she said, sister. Yeah. She is in, in she's in a state where. She's slightly hurt because probably she loves Stone Boy, and then to hear that it's getting her swayed up a little. But I'll, what can I do about it? If you love Stone Boy, love Stone Boy. If you hate Stone Boy, hate Stone Boy. If you want to be in the middle to try to get points to love me, then you might as well. I mean, you're in a state where uh, long. The reality is that let nobody use that against me because they, they can't find any points. So. They're trying to use that. We're all humans, you feel me? And God knows. And whoever knows me knows how I am. I think to have come this far, to be known as one of the most humble yeah. guys, it's not by, it's not, it's by deeds. It's not by, I mean, I always say that I'm not, I'm, I'm not a weak person and I don't want my humility to be taken for granted, which has been a number of times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, but then, far from that, I love my fans. My fans love me. And as and when I can, come on, man, I avail myself, you know, mm -hmm. and then we vibe. But you see, one thing I also have to address is the, over, the, the over expectations. I go through that, other artists go through that as well, so I'm not going to put it back on myself only. You, you realize that um, coming in here right now, let me be sincere, walking up, which is real, just walking up, I got in my car, one lady, um, I mean, sees you stops wow no she she actually pushes her head through the window and says hey hi stone boy i waved back so walking in typical example and i'm glad it happened yeah today so she waved i waved back with smiles like oh on your way i want to see you before i'm like oh, on my way out i'll do so nice she gets hers what would you think about me nice guy walking in now one guy just also lifts his head and says hey stone boy brah Wow, so straight, and I was like, the distance between me and the guy, it's and he, and he was standing with other two people. That was like, you don't even address people like, hey, stone boy, blah. Like that's that shows the amount of disrespect that you have sitting down in you, you know, and probably shows manners. You don't, you know what I mean? Right. If if you feel like you see me on TV every time and you love me and so you live with me and you sleep with me, I understand because people see us so much. They vibe with us, they yeah. so they much so that they feel like yeah. we are, you know me, but I don't probably know, know you. you yeah. So you have to take it easy. And so I got a bit more close and he says, he goes on again, hey, brah. I'm like, no, you don't, you don't do that. I didn't even talk, I just walked away. What do you think this guy would go home I saying? Think you're rude, yeah. This guy would go sit with his friends and say, oh, no, there's no, your friend on back, which is, which is totally wrong. And I wouldn't be able to, to be there to defend myself. Sure. But for him, he spoke to me and I just walked on. Yeah. So, you, so you see what we face. Yeah. <laughs> so I think these people have to understand that we love them equally as much as the lovers. But if they do get the opportunity to see us, you know, the best way is to just be free, be real, and take it easy. Don't over-respect anything immediately. Yeah. Yeah, because, look at that, that is, I, I, have, I have every right to react as yeah. human, but because I know what it is, I'm like, I just didn't even talk, I had to sweep out. So I love my fans, my fans love me, and those who love, know Stormware for real know that, come on, man. This is, well, I'm not into any snobbish game, but I'm a real person. Like, you don't find me walking up on the street to be noticed. Mm -hmm. I can come in a space and I'll be there. I, whilst other people love to be noticed. So it's just yeah. like you are against the others. Yeah. And I know that majority of the people would get, I mean, drawn to one who loves to be noticed as a popular figure than one who also privately wants to just keep his feet until he's noticed. Okay. 
too. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, and uh, I, I think we take the final question and then wrap it up for this point and then have some more conversations. Boy, ah, uh, why? Okay, so quick one. And um, I want to know, how do you feel when you hear news, be it good news or bad news about Shatterwallet? Because um, you guys are both doing dance hall. Do you consider him as a competitor? I saw ten months ago. Are you pressured? Yeah, I want to know. Hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I heard it for music's sake, you know, because literally we're all selling the same product. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, who says that if my name comes about and somebody else's name is mentioned, it's a crime. It's not a crime because we all sell the same thing. So, if, if, it come, if Stoneboy comes to mind, if music comes to play and Stoneboy comes to mind, you definitely have other artists come to mind. But the question is straight and direct. How do I feel about somebody being mentioned? I know that they will, they will know that better than I will. You know what I mean? If I hear news about somebody or whether bad or good, I wouldn't know how it feels on that side. But to be, I mean, to turn it around and try to understand, I'm not pressured. I don't have any competition in Ghana. I'm far gone, you know. Okay. Um, everybody in Ghana I see as a brother, somebody, I mean, I see as brothers and sisters who, who, who I, I mean, who I am, I'm, I'm, who I live with, you know what I mean? We're all doing, like I said, we're all selling the same product so if the sales of one pro if if your sales go up and it's the same um product remember that my price is going to go up as well mm -hmm. and if mine goes up my demand goes up demand for music goes up and you're a musician your demand goes up as well so okay. in my in ghana i have no competition oh, really? probably outside ghana as well it's the same approach is we're all doing music so I either get inspired by what you're doing or I don't get inspired. But in Ghana, I would say that, especially most of the people that are so-called my competition don't inspire me. They don't, they, okay. I, I'm, I'm sorry to say I'm, I hit the nail right on it. They don't inspire me. They, okay. don't, they, don't, they don't add up to anything that I see. You know what I mean? That pushes me or forces me to do something else because I, I mean, I look beyond... Not that I don't respect them, I respect them in their various ways. Shout out to my big brother Samini, you know what I mean? Same flame, but the, those that are actually tagged at my enemies don't do anything that pushes me because okay. I, I think they're yet to do things that I've done. Oh, really? Let's I, be real. I like that, I like that. All right, so we're having a conversation with Stone Boy right here on Hall of Fame. When we come back, we'll be having an even more candid conversation with the man behind it all. Cosmopolitan, new experiences, social media, blazing conversations, fashion, life hacks, all of this and more. This is our scape. This is your scape. Join Apioko Ashon Abe and Emma Fachikata on Cityscape right here on CTTV every Saturday at 4 p.m. Welcome back, guys, from the break. This is Hall of Fame, and I'm having a conversation with a multiple award-winning artist, the one who has been breaking the glass ceilings that we didn't even think existed. <laughs> it, honestly, because because you've been oh, doing... You know something? Tell I, me. I just looked back at the Hall of Fame. Yeah. You, you, this just played back in my mind. I'm being very, very serious. You Go know, ahead. we don't have a walk of... Fame uh, yes, in, in Ghana. Ghana. Yes. Yeah, I thought about that one time when I think somebody I read in the news had got his his name embedded there. Then yeah. it flashed my mind that we thing. should get one. So in Ghana, what if we have, I mean, one museum or somewhere that has all these artists that have come and gone and all of that, you know, proper. Yeah, you like know, the state recognizes yeah. that. That would be so amazing. At least for no reason, you know, that our for our I mean our predecessors. Our children's children would one day you know that my, that's my mother's name yeah. on there, that's my father's, that's my brother's name. No, no, that would be great. I thought about it. So yeah. looking back at the Hall of Fame, it came, it came to mind. We will do that. 
No, it, 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 it all grows there. And it, it grows. You see, assuming we had that and there was a, of OCBC and those, we would just yeah. go there to learn. Simple. We wouldn't need to be told anymore. We date with it, like create like a museum, proper art museum. I love that. I love. I really, I really love that. Uh, and going into fame, what has been the biggest sacrifice you've made for fame? Sacrifice for fame? The sacrifice would have to be the hard work. Mm. You know what I mean? The hard work because you put in a lot of work. And actually, I see fame as a residue of my hard work. Okay. That's an interesting way to look at it. Yeah. I, I don't see fame as a reward of it. Because you can do everything for fame, anything for fame. You can get famous for w- what you do as well. But it is what you do that made you famous. So I believe that fame is actually a residue of what I do. I put in blood, sweat and tears in this every time because I love it. It's my passion. I, I, I mean, I can't sit two or three days without having to create music or having to put words together to try to write something, to try to rhyme something, you know. So that's it. I put in a lot of work now. After being recognized for this, you know, when, when I started these things, I, I remember when I started to write music, mm-hmm. I started by my father's, um, we had a tape, side A and side B, I was slotting the, 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 the preaching message, you know, also okay. yeah. no, no, he, he's like an elder in the church, okay. like a pastor or something, yeah. So I put the side A, side B, and I rocked the preaching of it, <laughs> not intentionally. Once I open it through, I have once I you talk book back to CD. Them time there, when you pick a CD and it has like eight bars of instrumentals at the back, no, oh no, when jam and it go, the end you know, all them on. I actually mean to say that I started this as something that I would love to do, and then it grew, it grew up into, it grew up this big, yeah, uh-huh, that caught the demand of people, and so. I, I, the, the biggest sacrifice would have to be putting in work, putting in, you know, time, putting yeah. in energy, having to plan and know that, look, you've come this far, you have to continue going further. You know, because right now it doesn't depend on only you, like you break a lot of hearts and disappoint a lot of people if you decide to be lazy. At what point, looking back in your career, do you realize, I am a star? Is there maybe a song that's cop fire or a video that you finish <laughs> shooting or on stage at some place that you really? went wow i am a star wow or i've become a hit wow you know that i i try to be as real as i can so the mm-hmm. people can get the real yeah. vibe and you know um see eh, i've never actually sat to think that you know let me be sincere really? with you like at no point maybe maybe different things come to mind not that statement of i'm a star or at least no hey. you realize that i've made also it. Me so, <laughs> so you think you haven't had that moment yet you, you you don't feel like you've gotten to a point where you are maybe not arrived the, the but matter you are say, can i feel it mm. that's the thing you should, i think you should can you feel that you see let me put another example before I try to, that we all try, because I'm being, you yeah. know, I like the yeah. one-on-one and, you know, like when you buy a car or you have a mansion or you're working hard and you get all that, right? Do you know that you have to actually step back and look at everything and, go, yes. and try to be like, ah, it's mine, Take it eh? in. Mm-hmm. Take it in. And then when you start taking it in and it gets into your head, then you walk around having to play that tape on your mind, I have this, <laughs> I have that, I have that, right? Mm-hmm. And then Obi Obi Ye Bibi na say ni panen kashi because hey, do you know who I am? <laughs> okay, okay. Because you know, you see, you've come to a point where you realize it quite me. Oh, ni amane tawe chino, and nobody to see as me to coming from from. Let me say this: coming from where I come from. <laughs> okay. We know they think like that too. Okay. You know, we know they think like that, you know, we only give thanks and appreciate the levels every time when that happens to us, you know, mm-hmm. you know, maybe I say, maybe I will coffee and I say, Obi will in the hot sun, and I say, or hot jagu, maybe I say, we realize, say, hey, you're not in the hot sun, you're actually driving a car home, yeah. 
then you realize that hey, Radhi, yeah, that's it, that because we could have eh, we, we, that's us, that's our brothers, like yeah, eh, yeah, na, yeah, no, no, that's a media, yeah, na, me, yeah, yeah, different in tia because or chinebi no sani pano kwa no obe tuma ano sobe tuma chile aboli different in tia is the same levels. In tia minyan do sa points na I say I don't even so much as any star. Now my star never na me de kwe. In tia say oh no, in tia me a star. I mean I'm serious. This is that I've never really got into that. I, it always humbles me, you know, yeah. when I see the masses react to my music. When I see the love, when I see sometimes I, I, I stare at them and I'm afraid. And that humbles me yeah. a lot. And and I like hey. You see, eh? I this is where I look at the thing like I Livingston looks at like ah, why did they give why what did Stone Boy mm -hmm. do? If only you can understand yeah, actually, where I'm coming from. Really yeah, man. I, so I, literally I not. I mean, I, I thank God for the levels. Look, like I was saying earlier on, there are a lot of things that we've we've we've, we've achieved that are really enviable, and still humbles me because there are a lot of people who will kill for that. But you realize that you have it, and mm. you you didn't kill for that. Mm. You didn't really. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just the blessing of God. Absolutely, and I'm not taking it for granted i'm always grateful okay. so i'm still waiting for that time the day where i go talk say sure i'll be star hey <laughs> <laughs> then you go fit me again no? <laughs> okay you so know. let's move to uh, an, another side of your life marriage and fatherhood mm, mm. at what point did you decide that your wife was the one she was the one for me charlie they ask question <laughs> Was it the first date? Was it the first time you set eyes on her? Was it maybe uh, on the third date? Yeah, you have three options. Choose one. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to choose. <laughs> choose one. Let's, let's play a little game. Uh, choose one. So I, but you know we have games at the end. So you want to play that? I also take go there. I also take that matter go there. It could okay. be a nice game. We go choose one. I'll, uh, make, I'll, I'll, I'll have you guess and I'll tell you the right one. Okay. The answer to the three is... Okay, so let me... The first date. Oh, I thought you were going to choose at the end. You are. Uh, I'll, I'll spare you on that one. We should come. We should come back to put that one to the end. To I'm going to say end, game stay the end. So we'll put that one <laughs> okay. So to fatherhood. Uh, were you bothered that when your daughter was born, the headlines were focused more on how quickly she was born after the marriage than the fact that you were a new father? Oh, massa. See, this life, eh? Sometimes me, I enjoy when people can get the answers mm -hmm. right. <laughs> and Obia <laughs> can So I'm like, yo, because it, it doesn't, I mean, you know, I mean, who say it's, 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 it's absurd or it's outrageous to have to be like, yo. I mean, what would have been the point is that if probably. Because they would also say if maybe after two, three years, you guys can have no kids. They would have spoken. They would also yeah. talk about it. So the child is a blessing. And how short or quick, you know, John Dumelo just told you. Exactly. Double track. So <laughs> there, are certain, there are certain, you see, as people like us, by the grace of God, uh, famous people, as John Dumelo, we have some, we have some mechanic. Uh -huh. we, we fast forward some things. Sir? Mm. Double track, no? We Fastest. Oh, you are you are a member. What's the one thing <laughs> that has changed you about fatherhood? What has fatherhood taught you that you didn't know before that? What's the one thing you do differently because of fatherhood? Yeah, there's one experience actually, you know. Waking up with a baby in bed and your wife in bed, mm -hmm. yeah, that that's definitely one significant thing that happens every 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 time that I, I feel like I'm growing into. Because yeah. going with those days, oh, you just wake up by yourself. But this time, the little one, the little one wakes me up. Wow. Yeah, I see a pat on my ch cheek or something, <laughs> and I'm up, and she's sitting and she's like looking at you, and it's so beautiful, wow. like you know. And then I give her a kiss on her hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a routine. Mm -hmm. I give her a kiss on the hand and, and in her palm, and then she laughs like, <laughs> and that's it. Just say, "Yeah, sorry, no, no." Uh -huh. yeah, too, she falls asleep again, 
and life goes on. That, that's how, that I mean. That's so beautiful. That's something I, I never, I never really thought about. Because you know, the picture, the perception, and the reality is different. You know. Okay. The perception is the baby's room, the that the room. Yeah, <laughs> and then the reality is so different. The reality is, <laughs> you, you find her like you, you have a court for her like in the. She has a room. And she has, a, but it's a lie. It's your bench when you go on Instagram with? and social media, you still say, hey, yeah, that's perceptions, expectations, uh -huh. and reality. So I was on the table. I said, oh, fool, baby. That makes life actually, that shows you how yeah. life is, eh? So you know that, Joe, in this life, so many of us are bothering our heads with expectations and perceptions. But mm -hmm. when they forget, say, the real flow, they laugh at us. Okay, okay. So, you know? Knowing what you know about the industry and fame, if your daughter said, I want to be a singer or go into the music industry or acting or something related to entertainment, will you be excited or will you talk her out of it? If my daughter wants to, I have to check if she can or she mm -hmm. has the talent, talent for to. It. You know, yes, I will force it. I will be able to say by force. Uh -huh. I do not want such a situation. I think that one is embarrassing. But if she has the talent and she would want to, I mean, first and foremost, she has to realize she has the talent and realize the interest that she wants yeah. to. I will fully support her like 100% because mm -hmm. I should be well experienced enough to guide her on like nobody guided me. Mm -hmm. So it would be, it would be beautiful. From the beginning, you know, we will know what to do. So many of the mistakes that I did, I wouldn't, I wouldn't allow her to do. And then it's easy. Okay. Now, coming to the industry and your rivalry with Shatawale, what was the trigger point? Where did you, the two of you, were you always at loggerheads? What, what caused it to come to head the way it Like I say, I mean, I would, the, the, the regular thing to do is to say on to the next Question. question but mm -hmm. i find out that uh i mean let me add you to the squad you guys can't do without <laughs> having to you know go back to that particular having to always you know what i mean yeah. and i think that it's inevitable so i have to always keep answering this one so i'll answer only once okay between me and you any yes. other platform me and you i'll sweep it over because okay. i have not answered before <laughs> um First and foremost, I don't have beefs with nobody. <laughs> and if it has gotten to this point, I think I've been, I've been pushed. I mean, and, and I've been involved or I've been called yeah. to defend myself. So that's how I see it. But primarily, I do not have, I, there's a, I can't tell you any point, and I would have been real with you, and I will be if there was. Maybe there was a point where something happened and then we had to fight, rare, rare, rare. No, 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 no. To begin to get, I mean, all these, I mean, jabs from this man, I think it was because of, um, because he just decided to. Okay. And maybe you should ask him one time how it was started. But as far as I'm concerned, I can't recollect any moment where, because you know, where something happens, you know, where something happened that got us to be at this yeah. point. So I, I definitely, I don't see me beefing with nobody. I'm only defending and answering questions like you're asking me now. So, uh, and you are usually very soft-spoken and you actually never address or go on a tirade. So the point where you went on a tirade uh, in a recent interview, mm. what was the trigger? What led you to decide to be unlike yourself mm. and speak out about it the all right cool i know that actually came as a surprise to Ghanaians yes. worldwide because the expectation is to is for me to be in a certain space yeah. forever but you see there are two sides to every coin you know so we should all expect certain reactions at certain times um over the time i think i'll i'll be blunt and and say this um Mandela or somebody said that if, if, if the wise men, if wise people keep quiet, the fools multiply. Yes. So it, it got to a point where the, the lies, so that could also be said that if the truth keeps quiet, the lie multiplies yeah. and then nobody believes the truth anymore. It was, getting, it was getting over, over the top where, I mean, I think 
it was it was becoming a norm that some of us could get disrespected and because of how how calm a nature we have we wouldn't say a word you know what i mean but we have to at points in time which is right which is never wrong you know so i came out and i've seen that interview over and over and over again and i had to put put the levels where it was and make them know say listen keep it there don't push it because when parents and kids and stuff come to play then you're not playing the game mm -hmm. even if it was yeah. then you're not playing the game then you're breaking the rules okay. Okay. and as far as I'm concerned this is like a game to some people you feel me but I'm not playing any games I'm here to do music I'm here to serve the people I'm here to put in blood sweat and tears if I wanted to play games maybe I'll do every and anything with that particular interview, would you have changed anything about it? About my reaction? Yes. Never. Okay. So in effect, you do not regret it? Zero. Really? What? Because people just picked up on a minute or two yeah. seconds off, and you're addressing it from some that block point, of yeah. it. Reverend Eastwood Anaba addressed it from another block of it. Right. Same interview. Okay. And there are other blocks that has to be addressed also if somebody wants to say something from I mean. So it doesn't only have one one part, you feel me? The same interview has different blocks that can be picked on, you know, well educative one, well parts that brought a lot of insight, you know? Hmm. Well still on the industry and you as an artist, uh, you were signed on to men's gold. Uh, are you still with them? Uh, sorry, Xylophone, uh, a part of the Men's Good group. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you still with Xylophone? Sorry. Um, yeah, I have a contractual agreement with them. And, you know, time is beating. I, I never really disclosed it. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to, I'm sorry, I'm okay. not going to no disclose problem, no any problem, contractual no term. But rest assured, as and when it comments to be heard, and as and when it ends, we're going to hear again. Okay. So that's it. With the issues that Men's Good has been facing, um, yeah. especially with people's fears and assertions that it may have been, uh, for lack of a better word, <coughs> a Ponzi scheme in some way, as an insider or as a signee of a part or a company in the entire group, mm. what have been your thoughts uh, on this particular ongoing saga? Um, you know, this saga has so many turns to, to it. I beg to stand at a point where I'm comfortable mm -hmm. see, seeing. I mean, and that point would be a commoner or an ordinary Canadian, mm. you know, who would raise hard-earned monies to, to invest in the sales of yeah. gold and all of that. Yeah. And so... You know, we did, and then we, we were getting the rewards of it as per, as, as per our investment until the government came through to, 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 I mean, to bring all these things up where or which I don't have any say about because I'm not, I mean, I, I'm a, I, as a citizen, I'm, I'm the government, but I'm not, a, I'm not in power. I don't know. The, the back and forth or the behind the scenes that go on to get, I mean, because the news reads that men's gold is not legitimately mm -hmm. running, right? Yes. Which I, I, I don't know. And I, I, I wouldn't know, okay. you know, because I, I can't tell, you know what I mean? Because from a point of view, they have their own business, whatever, but I stand as a commoner mm -hmm. that it's only painful that, you know, we have worked so hard to invest into a company owned by a Ghanaian, for Ghanaians, you know, and okay. we're facing these things. And it hurts us that things are not running smoothly. So we would, I mean, we use this platform to ask that the government cease to it and actually consider the people involved. I mean, right. consider the people more and also realize that I believe this company actually has done a lot in the short while since Absolutely. it existed 
in the lives of, 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 of the citizens because they got an opportunity by a Ghanaian for us and we all jumped on to it. So okay. that's, that's where I stand. You know? And as we, as, we, as we speak now, we all know the troubles that it's, it's bringing. You know, people's people investments are, are stuck. Yeah. They're, they don't know what's going on. And, you know, time. You know, people don't have... I mean, when things like this come to play, I have a trend in Shada in Nihosa because, right. you know, we don't really have any... Other option, yeah, that's true. Same. Okay. Uh, I would love to move on into <clears throat> another topic. Uh, politics. You, I, and I, I swear I've seen somewhere you, you've not ruled out the idea that you may... <laughs> You may, at some point yes, in time, I... never say never to politics. Yeah, man. Would you consider a career in it? Yeah, I will. And if, if you I would, uh, as you would, what exact part? Are you looking at president <coughs> of the republic? Mm. Is it, uh, in what particular af aspect would you like to help or contribute yeah, to politics? Yeah, I like, I like the part of it that mm. says help and contribute. Because uh, um, to come this far and realizing, you know, you have to realize... I feel that, yes, I'm one person who loves to stand, standing and defend. I mean, I'm passionate about, about, about people. Mm -hmm. It might not take only being a passionate guy, you know, but I realize that, look, for the role that I play and for the levels that Ghanaians have, you know, blessed my hustle with and God al al Almighty, to furthermore represent would be nice, would be a better idea because I stand the opportunity of understanding things better at this, at this point and, 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 and coming or contributing my factor. And I think when it gets to the time, I can only be <coughs> able to do or further my cause by assuming a political post. Okay. Okay. See? Yeah. So... With what I have in mind and the plans, if there was no need to, I wouldn't mind. But I think that as Ekika Kweni Nano, there might be a point where I would have to assume a political post to be able to do what I, I love to okay. continue doing. So if you had to pick between maybe president, minister for tourism, or vice president, which would you... I, I think minister for... Tourism, and tourism is closer to is you know yeah. I mean it's closer to what I do so okay. I should definitely be be enlightened to be or in, would in you that aspect more than a co a co uh, a, uh, someone who I may mean not be somebody in the industry, who yes. may not be in yeah. the industry yeah. but is also legible to assume such a post so assuming with the food stone boy. I mean, in these times now, the push stone boy and a graduate from or somebody with masters of something, something from somewhere to minister of who will get the experience. You know, we say you carry play the room, room, the tall. But I actually have an obligation that my industry looks better, like that tourism is driven. Yeah. Uh, because I owe myself that as well as a musician. Mm -hmm. And already I'm at it. Okay. Okay. And already okay. I'm at it because, because um, when I travel around, I sell my nation. Yeah. When I do music, I sell my country. Mm -hmm. And I mean, when I, come, when I represent, I represent for Ghana. So, you see, we are playing these roles hey. in diverse ways that we do not know that we are. And if we do get the opportunity or even think to assume certain positions politically, we are the right ones that can cha champion some causes. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? But it be support. All righty. I like the sound of that. I you like see, the sound well, of that. That be where I stand, you feel me? All righty. Uh, and I, I identify with that. Well, uh, this is Hall of Fame. We're going to go for a quick break. When we come back, playing an exciting little game with Stowboy and as well, doing a quick fire round. Don't go anywhere. City TV is live. City TV is a free-to-air digital channel. On a digital TV, please press menu on your remote control and run a new search on your TV. Take note that without an antenna, 
you cannot access CTTV on your television. CTTV can be accessed on a multi-TV digibox. Tune into CTTV and experience your world. CTTV, it's your world. Alright guys, so we are having a, f a amazing conversation <laughs> with a man, Stoneboy, yep. and he is being as candid as he can possibly be. Now we're going to go into a quick fire round that is uh, basically in five minutes, he should answer as many questions as he can. Uh, first thing off the top of his head. Are you ready, Stonewall? Are you ready? Are you ready? Hey! hey. You know, this is hey. hey! Let us start. Fire! <laughs> Who is your celebrity crush? Hmm. Where's your back home? My enemy is really slow. Wow. Yes. Which celebrity do you go... For answer's sake, I for look through now and answer some. Uh -huh. So say they go talk. Uh -huh. um, hmm. Hey. Mache, hmm. you go. Next one, Mache. I can give you options. Give me, give me. Jocelyn Duma, Jackie Appiah, Lydia Fawson. Oh, what my competition has been. Ah, say my wife, I prefer the first name. I'm saying, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going Jano, next one. I said, I'm going to say, 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 i Okay, let's pick the first one. Jocelyn Duma. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Okay, yeah. I, I, I pick for you. <laughs> um, hmm. Who are your top five rappers in Ghana? Oh, rap, rap, rap. Yeah, man, rap. I'll be sincere. Now, now, now. I, it's rather unfortunate that I've heard a lot more of, I mean, I've heard other people with mm -hmm. bad. Yeah. But it be the ones that will come on top yeah. of my head where yeah. I go say so. Yeah. I don't mean to disrespect no other no rapper. Problem. Yeah. I'm up for every 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 creative uh, way. Be but now I mean we have um I mean payday. Mm -hmm. Not in order of importance. Okay. I'm just so just about. randomly. We have soccer there. We have payday. And I love Obibini. Okay. Obibini, you know. Yeah. Yeah. He's really good. And a uh, strong man. Okay. And then um, um, I've mentioned four. Yes. Um, oh, last one we am right. Um, uh, Should we just stay up? Yapo no. Okay. Yapo no to me is a is more than a rapper. Uh. So it hardly comes to mind. It's Yapo. Yapo. Okay. 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 When was your first kiss? Oh, somewhere, somewhere. In at what age? Oh, in SS. I can't remember the age. If okay. I remember the okay. age, and I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> when. Did These you... are things you do and have to forget. Aha. Uh -huh. So speak <laughs> of the things you should forget. When, when mm -hmm. did you break your virginity? I have forgotten. Aha. Uh -huh. if, if I'm able to tell you that I didn't do it. Then you didn't do it. So yeah. could you be a virgin? Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, my own. Oh, yeah, my own. That's just jokes. Uh, what was your first job? Um, first job I've yes. seen. I mean, you know. First job ever. First job ever. Like where somebody had to pay me. Yes. Even as a as a child. Yeah. Okay. So first, let, so not to bring child labor to it. So yeah. Yeah, I know. First, right? first job uh, as an adult that you were paid for. What was it? Music. 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 They pay me no bit today. So you've never worked in any other. No, please. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Started doing music commercially from age of sixteen. All Senior right. High school one. Okay. So music is my master. Oh, interesting. What was the first amount? But my first job where I do around the surrounding the yeah, plant, you know, though I let's take off child labor from there. Yeah. I used to sell I mean sometimes I sell kerosene for my mother. Wow. You know, you know, she's she's she was a trader, like yeah. so I love to do these things like so you sold <laughs> because it's just like I grew up from that home where you know, it, it will be cool, but 
you see that kind of vibe. Yeah. If for, if for, you know, your eye for day ground. So, oh, we sell, waiting. What? She did pastries and stuff. So, we did sell both floats. Oh, we did go about the meat pie and things. Oh, when I come out, me and my guys, we play ball things. I did dash them some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, you are the me. paper star. So challenge, challenge. For that one, I got paid because me baby, Anna, mommy, look sharp. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know that vibe. What was yeah. the first point, or how much did you get for your first performance? <laughs> Okay, I can remember one of the shows where um, Black Rasta paid me. You know, coming up from senior high school one, I had to follow Black Rasta. Okay. It was on the radio, Happy FM. So he went to shows with me. He went to play shows with me. Sometimes I open up the shows, and by the time I go back to school, he hands me something nice. I go to school and I sometimes, you know. So how much was that something keep nice? Up with it. Oh yeah, <clears throat> that was. I remember he gave me like, um, I'm still in senior high. Oh, something cool. Them time they, they 500 CDs, 200 CDs. So was it 20,000 CDs or 200,000 CDs? <laughs> no, um, that's CDs. like, um, it, it, okay, 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 that'd be, um. 200,000 is now 20 Ghana. Hold on. <laughs> um, 200 CDs would have been how much in them time there? 2 million. Sometimes one million, five million, so between two and five. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So that be what we take run ourselves. Sometimes it will give me some choking. Then later, sometimes you go, oh yo, me like I've been through the mill. Wow. Sometimes I go link um look, big up to Black Rasta, get me. What's the biggest paycheck you've ever had? Biggest. It's, it's yet to come. Anyway. It's yet to come. It's yet to come, but so What's, far so good. So, how, if I want to how, get Stoneboy to perform at my wedding, how much must I pay? Oh, wedding there is another. E. By the time we go pay tax, by the time GRA go collect, wow. By the time we go, then you go see, say, the candidate is just for the backside. <laughs> small, small. Small, small. Everyone evades this particular question, but um, what is the most expensive thing you own in your closet or your wardrobe? Hmm. It should be sneakers, you get me? Okay. <laughs> How much have you spent? How, what's the most amount you spend on a pair of sneakers? Me, I can tell you, I've spent 200 pounds on a pair of shoes before. I wore twice. That is my, <laughs> that is my shame that I carry around. Yo, but what has been the most expense or how much money have you spent on a piece of clothing? May it not be like, you know, say, yeah, man, you can check the prices of these things. So like you know I mean? $5,000? No, 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 I wouldn't buy a shoe for five thousand. Right? So the most you spend is a thousand. Up, 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 in between. Two thousand. It wouldn't get to two k. So between. I think one I to bought 2K. one backpack for that. Okay. I love backpacks and I love sh sneakers. So the most expensive so item is a backpack. My backpacks, you see them, they are bad some. Okay. You know what I mean? Yes, can kind of a schoolboy level. Chale. If I always, I always remind myself of the hustle. Chale. So, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's the most insane thing you've done for love? Hey, things we do for love. Chale. Hey, <laughs> yo. Um, have you jumped the wall to get to a girl's house? Have you, have you have you sent it. flowers and ah, champagne? We do and... flower champagne. Or... Hey, so you what's, no what's the craziest? What's the craziest? What's the craziest? The most insane thing you've done for love? When you see this one, you want him. Hey, I told you how to be now to be said, but I think craziest. Wow, you're tough. Uh -huh. You see this one with the talk, they go far. Uh -huh. So they watch, I uh -huh. open. That's yeah. how we make headlines. We won't stay in between. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We buy flower where we time the thing. Where we call our couple, say, couple, the way the person they come, they hair, couple. <laughs> if you don't help me, Charlie, you don't be my friend again. <laughs> <laughs> so he helped me try from somewhere, come carry me away. We go to the place where the person come. Oh, father, we approach the flower. No, yeah, we say that move safe. Oh, Obi, I'm a child crying. Oh, you wouldn't be a man. I'm a child. Oh, I'm a child. I'm a friend. Oh, be the fool. I have a family. Now, just say, yes, I rush it. Because, you know, I actually have to sit and think, so, what, 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 I want to what do something the, romantic. Yeah. My son, you're crying. 
you know, <laughs> but I bought flowers and uh, champagne. Okay, you know, okay, okay. But that okay. time, it was my last, Charlie. My last power, they try to kick that thing go some level. You know, we do crazy things. All right. And finally, uh, what do you think we is lacking in the industry? And what do you think you, can, you would change if you had the power to do so? Hmm. If I had the power. What would you change? Would and what I do you ever think have, is Would lacking? I ever get the power to? Or would you never know, hypothetically. Sake? You know, right? Um... I wish that generally our industry will grow to a point where there's proper understanding by the consumers. Okay. Because I can tell you that it's, I, I for one have a problem with that, how the masses understand us. And I think it's up to us also to be sincere enough so that we can all grow together. One point of it, because it all has to do with mindset. Our mindsets, especially in Ghana, towards our industry or our creative arts people, especially in, 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 in when it comes to how the, the work goes or how the work runs and the part they play as people to complement the work, you know, the understanding no day. So you go realize here at the end of the day, we they get enough too many problems, you know, and we know they get to reach or we know they get what we really have worked for because at the end of the day the understanding is that it's even supposed to be free okay. so or it's supposed to look a certain way that's why majority of us we live a life of lies okay. that's why we employ fake it till you make it kind of thing but i don't go for those but it's about making them i mean so that's one of the things i would, I would love to let the masses understand what goes on I mean, elsewhere you realize that they don't want your song for free, poop. Oh, do you have the link on iTunes? Where, where can I get a CD? Where can I buy? Where can... But we don't understand it that way. Yeah, man, I will hit on the point because it's real. Okay. It's real. Like, like it's real. Let's not pretend that we have it all and come up and show faith. And that's why I said we have a role to play in that as well. And if I had the power, and at least I think I have the platform. So this is not even about power. This is about platform yeah. and being sincere. Okay. We don't have it all. We have to be sincere because the masses have a certain expectations of us as stars, as the celebrities that they respect and adore and that they expect to go and grow further beyond, you know. But they, they, they do not know really that they have that part to play well and the understanding has to be clean and clear. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Because you print CDs and... For instance, the majority of us would expect to buy your, to, for you to come dash them CDs the than creative buy, yeah. piece, but that's what you do. Yeah. More than to understand that they have to purchase. Okay. You see that willingness and that knowledge to know that no, it has to be bought or it has to be purchased and that's the form of real support. Okay. See? That's the form of real support, you feel me? And I think that's how come these other industries outside Ghana, probably America, and they, there's an understanding. If you want to take Dash, cool. But they rather buy than to... But the understanding day. So if you want to take Dash, that's another thing. Okay. You know what I mean? And the day you take Dash, self, you go see how the person will be like, oh! <laughs> I just got a free CD, like, oh! But then I hear we expect it before we think about <laughs> it. So, as minor as you think it is, it actually, to me, is a big issue. I mean, the understanding. So let me just yeah. end it here. Alrighty. So we're going to do a very... And that's very just one of the examples of, you know, of understanding us and we also being able to be real enough. You know? Yeah, yeah man. So we're going to go into a game. Excited about. We're going to show Stone Boy five or six different images. These images are related to him in some way. Either it's him, someone he knows, mm -hmm. or something he should know. And uh, but is distorted or zoomed in. So let's take a look at the very first one. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's Louisa's nose, G. Are you sure? I think so. I trust so. Okay, let's see. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No, but like, I, yeah, that would have been yeah. it. But I try to say I get the nose power. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the next one. Charlie, but I try for back this one because the say. nose power I think. <laughs> and it was just here. Yeah, Maybe say like Charlie. Can you put mouth and nose for me to identify the person in Wow. It's either it's, it's Can you give me a clue please? At least. Give me a clue. Or you don't want to give me clues at all. Just give me a clue. It will be fair. It's not him, is it? It's not him. It's not him. I think my producer says no you. So yes, I know it's not me, I'd have said it. Yes, I know it's not me. It's someone you know. I should. Someone who you are close to. Hey, I lie. Black C did that in a black club. I think I think I think I did. I did. No, no, no. You didn't give it out. You didn't give it out. It was I you see them. The thing day my mind, but I just like I think it's better. But you only said someone you're close to. You didn't give any other thing. Could be, I'm close to a lot of people. No, but someone I'm close to because it's on my mind. I should know the person. You know that, right? Uh -huh. So just a little clue. But that was not clue enough. Yeah. Well, going into another. Uh, let's see how this one pans. Okay. Sean Paul. Stormware Sean Paul. <laughs> and is it? <laughs> Drum roll and... Uh... <laughs> okay, 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 okay. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay, alrighty. So, uh, our last uh, picture. Hey, let's see. Wow. That's me, that's me, that's me. Don't, don't waste time. <laughs> hey. And it is you, actually. <laughs> yeah, 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 it don't, is if you. If I don't show my face, okay. then, don't show any part. <laughs> okay, so, truly, let's see. Let's see. Last one. Let's see. 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 Hey, Matteo. It is you. Hey. <laughs> you tried, you tried, you tried. It's all about the places here. Yeah, no, <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, the man has gotten it all. <laughs> he has, he has figured it all. Oh, <laughs> you actually really, 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 really good. At it. You almost got me on the black seat. I like, no, I had it bowed up. Imagine how awkward okay, like so you don't know my mouth. Charlie, but that's awkward. How can I know it? why? You leave the mouth to some people uh, to know. You see, the so girls can't know the mouth. You're not supposed to go to the mouth. Eh? Okay, mm -hmm. okay. It's fun that we're now. Time just run out yes. like that. But yeah. Charlie, so time runs when you're having fun. You know what I mean? We don't have to we'll get this enough, again. so we do it again. We'll do this again. <laughs> yeah, 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 so. really Thank you, my darling. And yes. that was the man, Stoneboy. Guys, give me a hand. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He, he did it. He blew out of the park. And that's how we call it a wrap on today's edition of Hall of Fame right here on City TV. We have the man, the one and only Stoneboy in the couch. We'll be back your way next week with another edition of Hall of Fame. It's going to be really exciting. But of course, we have to say a very big thank you to Swiss Spirits and Sweets. Alisa for the amazing hospitality. Of course, our Luri for my amazing dress and hair first choice for my hair. It takes a village, guys. It takes a village. My name is AJ Akuak with Safwan. I'll be back your way next week with another edition of Hall of Fame. Until then, take care of yourself and each other.